Abby Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Community Affairs and we're here at the Chesapeake Heritage and Visitor Center today to let you take a look at an exhibit that's here. It started in July and it's going to be running through the end of September. July 29th from 6 to 8 there's going to be a reception here at the Visitor Center and the Quilt Guild will be here to answer questions. You can talk to the quilters and learn more about this craft. So then I have Diane with us who's the president of the Quilt Guild and she's going to walk us through the exhibit and tell us a little bit about some of the quilts. Well let me tell you about the quilting technique so that you can appreciate the okay. exhibit a little <laughs> bit more. There's two basic techniques used for making the quilt top. Okay. The first most uh, common one is piecing and that's where you take fabric and you cut it into a million pieces and then you put it all back together again. Okay. And the other technique is called applique and that's where you more or less draw pictures with fabric and okay. sew it on top of your, your quilt. And that's where it puffs out a little bit and you can feel it a little bit higher. Yes. Okay. Yes. So those are the two basic techniques. So when you say quilt to somebody, this is pretty much what they think of. Okay. This is a bed size yep, quilt. That's... It's one block that is just repeated over okay. and over and over again. Very, and, very traditional. And they just use different material each time they do the block over. This quilt did, yes. Okay. To add interest. This is another style of quilt. Okay. And it's called a sampler because in this quilt, each block is completely different one from another. So it's a bunch of samples. Yes, exactly. And typically when you do a sampler, it's one of a, a quilter's beginner quilts because they're learning different techniques with each block of okay. how to piece. That makes sense. Another type of sampler is an applique sampler. Okay. And in this sampler, again, each block is different and the maker was learning different techniques with each block. And I noticed like there's buttons on this one and different types of um, embellishments. Embe yeah. They were learning specifically different stitches on their machine. Okay. They were trying out the different stitches. This is another sampler. Okay. Each block is different. But if you notice in this quilt, each block is turned on t into a diamond okay. shape instead of a square shape. Right. And that's called on point. Oh, okay. Because so the just, four points of the the blocks. Yeah, okay. it's a square instead of a diamond, and it just gives the quilt a little bit of a different look. Okay. This is a medallion style quilt, okay. and it's laid out a little bit differently. It more or less starts in the center uh -huh. and works its way out to the edge. Oh, okay. So can you make quilts for anything other than a bed? Absolutely. You can make a quilt that is for a table top okay. or for a wall hanging. Take, for example, this quilt. It is probably maybe a laptop, uh, I mean a lap quilt right. or um, a wall hanging, and it's called a signature quilt. And what the maker did was they were celebrating somebody's 50th, 60th birthday party maybe, I can't remember, and they just had everybody that attended the party sign, sign a block. One of the little diamonds there, yeah. triangles. And, and then it was made into a quilt. So we have a couple other, um, I don't want to call them quilts because they're much smaller, but what are these small ones and how do, what, what, what are they called? Actually, they're called mini quilts. Okay. And they're mostly just for decoration and hanging on the wall. Okay. And I want to uh, point out this quilt in particular because it's not what you would, pe what most people would think of when right. they talk about quilts because it's just a whole cloth which means this is just one piece of fabric. There's no piecing or applique on it. All the design uh, detail that you're seeing there was done with the quilting. Oh, wow. And it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then it has some em, em, embellishments. embellishments on it mm -hmm. or little diamonds. Um, tell us about the actual quilting guild. How could somebody come and, can they, anybody come and join? Tell us about it. Anybody that is interested in sewing okay. can join our guild. We meet once a month, right. the last Wednesday of every month. And we have been meeting since 1988. Wow. Although I'm not a founding member, I only okay. joined a few years ago, so I don't know the details of the history. Right. Where can we find you online? Queen Anne County Quilt Guild. Okay. Yeah, because I know you have a very popular Facebook page, and I, I've been on there and seen some of the different designs that people are working on. They post stuff, so. Yes, and... Um, Part of our meeting once a month is uh -huh. show and tell, where people bring in oh, wow. the projects that they've recently completed to share with the group. Okay. And we try to get those photographed and put them on Facebook the following morning. Okay. And I have to say, it's one of my husband's favorite things to do that next morning is to see all the show and tell. <laughs> so the whole family's involved. That's right, yes. Wonderful. So come out to the um, to one of the meetings and see how to quilt. And I know some of your quilters are going to have stuff at the fair this year, and that'll be in a few weeks too. So yes, they will. come out and see the quilts because they're, they're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous.